Hey everybody, it's episode 2 of, you know it, House of the Dragon. First episode, we had, you know what, the first episode felt a little like the last episode of a season, where, you know, one of the main characters dies in childbirth, there's butting of heads between heirs, somebody's cast away and somebody's like, she will be our new heir, you know? Like, really epically ended. It didn't feel like just the start of a slow start of a, a show. I was going to say like Game of Thrones, but we all know how episode one of the main show ended. I'm not going to spoil it if you haven't seen it, but... Yeah, that had a particular ending, that episode. Um, so we learned... I learned names in this first episode. Can I remember any of them? I remember Alicent, because it's like Alison, but with a T at the end. <laughs> really easy to remember. If only all their names just were just normal names with like an extra letter. We had Damon, my favorite. And he, you know what? He's my favorite character because he's so, he's, he's so kind of hard to read. Not like a stereotypical villain. He had um, a fascinating sort of relationship with Rhaenyra where they're sort of jibing at each other. They're sort of nipping at each other uh, verbally, but there's also a sort of a, a connection between them, you know? Now, look, they're Targaryens, so anything goes, but uh, they did have a certain, like, she was the first one to find out that he had returned to the city. He brought her this necklace. There's, they're whispering between each other from time to time. They're also completely at odds when it comes to being heir to the throne, you know? But I don't know exactly what's going on in Damon's head when it comes to the succession, the leading, the realm, ambition, that sort of thing. And I don't know what, to what lengths he will go against her if it comes to it. And I don't really know about her either. I, I am enjoying her that she has Alison, that there is something there. But, um, yeah, I don't know, like, how she feels about, we know that she's, she's always, she's always, she said things like, um, that she can never be a son to her father, and her father always wanted a son, and it's something she could never live up to. But then at the end, he's like, I've changed my mind. I've changed my mind. You are the leader we've always needed. Actually, his characterization is the most shaky in the first episode. He's constantly flipping between what he says and what he's doing and what he wants and who he's who he's following. As Damon says, he's weak. He's a weak leader and he's easily swayed. The council know it, Damon knows it, everybody knows it. And he acts that way in the first episode. He's constantly all over the place. You know? So... Also, he's dying. We we don't know that explicitly, but we it kind of implied in the... on his back. In the, the last episode. How long he lasts, I don't know. Uh, I love Hightower. Him and Damon were the highlights of the first episode bunny heads, looking at each other, staring at each other. The way Damon asks Hightower's daughter to give him a, a garland to help with his tournament, you know, very specifically requested it from her, just to get under, just to needle Hightower a bit. He hates him. They hate each other. Maybe they'll end up best friends, but... Oh, speaking of best friends, I wonder where that cold guy is going to fall on in all this he survived and we've set up that he's a pretty good fighter you know in episode one and the dragons were cool there's a lot to, a lot to talk about in that first episode uh, the only thing that didn't work for me was the end the speech the the prophecy dream the Rhaenyra I've got to tell you this secret and you must keep it and you must pass it on it's the biggest secret the world has ever known. You see, 
one of our ancestors, I don't know if this is, this is maybe paraphrasing, had this dream about, this prophecy dream, about the end of the world, the, the, the menace will come from the north, and only a Targaryen on the throne can save the realms of men. Uh, here, take take this burden and carry it with you. Like, <laughs> you know, one, it's not accurate. It's not accurate. Anyone who's seen the, the real show knows. I'm not gonna. It's hard not to spoil the the main show, isn't it? With this. But the actual words of that prophecy or whatever are not strictly true. And, uh... Oh, he was all about the prophecies last episode, wasn't he? With his son and all that. But yeah, that, that stuff didn't... And he called it a song of ice and fire. Like, come on. Come on. What kind of writing is that? It's just, I know, they were trying to, they, they they tied the shows together. They were like, ah, oh, there you go. There you go, audience. See? Although, hey, TV audiences are like, a song of what? It's called a Game of Thrones. Why didn't they say Game of Thrones? But yeah, it was janky. It was janky. And hopefully that's the end of it. No more, no more of that stuff, please. We already name dropped literally every, everybody, except the Lannisters, I think. We had Starks, we had Tarleys, we had Baratheons, we had, ooh, Targaryens. Uh, but yeah, let's 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 see the show stand on its own two feet, or fly. Let's see it fly. Anyway, I've talked way too long. This is the the something the something prince. The I presume it's referring to Damon. What's the title again? The Rogue Prince. Maybe. He's kind of roguish. He flew off on a dragon. So let's get into it and see what episode 2 brings us. I'm enjoying the visuals. The music is so similar to Game of Thrones. They've I presume it's the same guy, right? But I, I kind of like that. I kind of like that. I was just complaining about the, the link-ups to the main show, but I kind of like that there's a certain familiar hour already about it, because we're in the same places. You know? Same cities. Right, let's go. No! Oh, what? Speaking of the same music... It's the same music! It's exactly the same. Ooh, blood. Oh, a flood of blood. It must have been fun making this one. Oh no, what? Where is this? We left to die. Oh, the crab, the crab guy from the the Triarchy people. So Ryan is a strong Lord Commander of the King's Guard. My Lords, King's Guard must soon be restored to its full complement of seven. With the help of the Hand, I've invited a number of fine candidates to court. All right. All have passed fair trials. How about that cool guy? He's pretty cool. Four ships have now been lost. The Stepstones have now grown into a conflagration, yet you sit here and dither about court business. Yeah. If you've some help that guy. I I want to seize the Stepstones by force. I am not prepared to start a war with the Free Cities. The losses would be incalculable. Mm. Maybe if we use some dragons, though. How about that? What reason does the crab feeder have to fear us? We've no teeth, dude. The King's own brother has been allowed to seize Dragonstone and Fox. Ooh. Damon has squatted there for over half a year. Time skip. A seat at the King's table does not make you his equal. <laughs> Yeah, well, but yeah, you should re that. remember that, Hightower. You have Dragon Rider's father. She's still wearing her necklace. Yeah, dragons. Send us. Yeah, she wants to go. At least the princess has a plan. Terrify them with their dra with the dragons. At least Perhaps uh, there's some better use for the princess's talents. Why don't you take the princess to see about the new King's Guard posting, Lord Commander? 
a fine idea, you guys. Oh, all right. Maybe tomorrow you get to ride that dragon. Sir Desmond Callan, it says. Let's have a look at him. Step forward, Sir Desmond. Sir Desmond recently brought a would-be poacher to justice. Impressive. A poacher. Get out of here. Next. What's up? Sir Raymond Malister. Winner of the melee at Cider Hall. And ten. Do any of these knights have combat experience? Yeah. Have them fight. Oh, this one. Sir Kristen Cole. Yeah, there he is. I knew he'd be the one. Son of the steward of the Lord of Blackhaven. You're hired. Be welcome, Sir Kristen. That's the one. I choose Sir Kristen Cole. Let's We're not done. Too hasty, We're done, Hightower. Princess. My father should be defended by a man who's no real combat. Yeah. This guy approves. This guy knows. Of course, Princess. <laughs> Checkmate, Tie Tower. Oh, back to the model. Yeah, these two are still. It is truly wondrous what you've built. Close. Oh, I only pour over the histories and provide the plans. Holy moly. The stonemasons built the structures. The glory of old Valyria will never be seen again. So. Oh. Tell me, how is Rhaenyra? It will take time. It did when I lost my own mother. You do not mention our talks to Rhaenyra, do you? I fear that she wouldn't understand them. No. It's hey, I'm pausing it just to say, it looks like, it feels like, for sure, that they were just talking. They're just talking. They're just, she's just keeping them company. There's no funny business. At least as far as I can see. Because if there was, then the conversation they just had there about the model and the, you know, I feel that would have been different. She would have been closer. There would have been some sort of touching. Uh, so I feel like it's just... She's just there to keep him company while he's grieving and talk to him and exchange stories and that. And nothing is actually... Uh, although I, I, I do believe that Hightower is trying to... He's got his own angle. I don't know how, we can, how well uh, Viserys should trust Hightower. If at all. You know, even though he's apparently loyal and all that. You know? Worry at the matters of lords and kings, Rhaenyra. You try, Your Alicent. Father to me, Mary. Your father loves you. He chose you for his heir. Yeah, he announced it to everybody. What are the candles for? Kneel with me. The dead. Such a great shot. You might try. Ah, is she ready? I... Give it a go. It's very peaceful. I'd, lo I'd love to go to a place like this. Just hang out. Oh. I want him to see me as more than his little girl. Yeah, he has to send her off on that dragon. I wanted to assure you how much I value the bond between our houses. It was not my intent to make offense. You just want some help. As king, it is my obligation to avoid war until such time it is unavoidable. Might I speak plainly, Your Grace? Sure thing, dude. I fear that the eyes of our enemies are presently fixed on the Red Keep. And now a foreign power has established a colony in our most critical shipping lane. We need to do something. At the moment, the Crown is perceived as being vulnerable. Do you have a specific course of action to propose? Wed our daughter, Lena. Unite the two great surviving Valerian houses. Oh, dude. Oh, he's not ready right for that. Look at his expression to that suggestion. I haven't given marriage much thought. Mm. You could not ask for a stronger match than Lena. How old is she? I don't think we met her. Hey, how do you feel like a new mother? I'll let you ride on your dragon. You can go kill that crab guy. I loved your mother very much. You did? As did I. Today at small council. Pay no mind. You will learn. Well, what the hell? I would need that. What are we, Klingons? 
This is our best chance to save the digit. Is it right. medicinal? The maggots will remove the dead flesh Ooh, and lovely. hopefully stop the advance of the rot. Hmm. I held an audience earlier today with Lord Corlys and Princess Rhaenys. They want me to marry their daughter. He proposed a marriage. To whom? The Lady Lena. Hightower will not be happy with that. What is your advice, dear Otto? <laughs> Have you considered my daughter? I do fear what Rhaenyra might think. What does it matter, Your Grace? Her father must propagate the royal line. But she... I just named her heir six months ago, dude. I uh, dearly loved my own lady wife. And to be compelled to replace her for duty's sake. <laughs> but I do not envy you. He planted that little seed. He's like, hey, I wouldn't do it. Let's see what he will do, though. Oh, that's her? We did see her in episode one. She's like 12 years old. But Vega still lives. Somewhere. But too large for the dragon pit. Some would say too large for our world. Oh, there is a, there's a do you know where she left? very large dragon out there. It would be a great honor to join our houses. Jeez. Mm, I would give you many children oh, of geez, pure kid. Valerian blood and the realm. Did you rehearse that? Is that what your father told you to say? What did your mother tell you? Mm. That I wouldn't have to bed you until I turn 14. You? <sighs> That's his, it's his cousin's daughter. It bothers you, does it not? Lena is your daughter, Princess. Does it bother you? <laughs> yeah. Of course it does. But I understand the order of things. I'm not sure you do. Nope. Men would sooner put the realm to the torch than see a woman ascend the Iron Throne. And we might see it. The small council is urging me to remarry. It seems the realm wants for a new queen. Mm. A good and kind queen will give comfort to your subjects. Does the small council have a particular lady in mind? Uh, yeah, the tiny one. I must admit, I don't know Lena very well. I'm sure that she is good and kind. Not as much as I know you. No, she does this thing when she's nervous. I brought you something. Ooh. I asked the stone masons to mend it. Oh, yeah, because he dropped it. Very thoughtful. A very kind gesture, Alicent. Very kind. Meanwhile, at the door. Your Grace, I've called the small council to an emergency session. What's, ha what's happened? I think it best you hear it directly. Is it something to do with his brother? Very well. Dragon's egg. It is the pleasure of Daemon Targaryen, rightful heir to the Iron Throne, to announce that he is to take a second wife. Her grace is with child and is to have a dragon's egg placed in the babe's cradle. <laughs> the prince has invited you to his wedding, your grace. Oh, we gotta go to that. Scoriodromon daemon leitas. Assemble a detachment, Otto. I will go to Dragonstone and drag Damon back to face justice I, myself. I don't think that's wise. I cannot allow it. It's too dangerous. Let me go to Dragonstone. Somebody go there. The cameraman has to go anyway. Well, what's he going to do when he gets there? Hey, Damon. I'm here for the egg and I'm shutting this whole shit down. My lady. Hey, you do. I've assembled 20 of your best household guards, my lord Hand. You'll need more. We need like 10,000. Oh, it's all misty and ricky. Really feels like a, like a lair, doesn't it? Well, you got there fast. Because. Oh, we're meeting here. Okay. He's got the egg with him. <laughs> <laughs> Go long. Welcome to Dragonstone, Otto. You're to relinquish the dragon's egg, disband your army, Never banish your whore, and leave Dragonstone by order of his grace, King Viserys. Where is the king? His grace would never lower himself to entertain such a mummer's farce. 
It's a Crispin, wasn't it? Yeah. It's a Crispin Cole, my friend. We had a good fight. It's apologies, I couldn't recall. Perhaps my prince recalls when I knocked him off his horse. <laughs> Very good. And what of you, men of the City Watch? The king made me their commander. They are loyal to me. You've come for the egg. Take there it. it is. Oh. To choose violence here is to declare war against your king. Wonderful. <laughs> <laughs> we can't lose main castle this quickly, can we? Oh, there's a dragon. A big one. Yeah, fellas, I don't think you want a, any part of this. See the fucking steel. Yeah, we're, we're good. Oh, hey! She came! Take care not to startle Cyrax, my lords. She's rather protective of me. Yeah, she'll burn everybody here. Kesu Uglesa, Luan Zombazmian, Luan Isa. Asila Vosse, Eoro Tao. Tubi Moneri, Nike, the Nike. Yeah, do you want to go to the wedding? Apra Ziri Ziri Emma. Sekedjus, it's Nukon Vronkron, Dromon Laudigon Ao Belvitas. I'm right here, Uncle. The object of your ire. Duh, he the reason that you were disinherited. No, he's got no feud with you. So do it. You're not gonna do that. And be done with all this bother. These two are good. See you later. Ah, I give give the egg back. <laughs> Is she gonna get some points or respect for this high tower? With with her father, with you, with the council. Saved your butts. De-escalated the situation. The only one who can talk to Damon without him freaking out. I have come looking for an unencumbered opinion. Yeah, this guy. That's all I would ever give, Your Grace. He's so neutral. Lena Valarian. What if I was to reject Lord Corley's proposal? He would not be like to take it well. The Sea Snake has made a calculated reach. Fair play for a man of his position. If you truly want my unencumbered opinion... I do. This guy's good when he speaks finally. You should wed Lena Valarian, Your Grace. Oh. The princess has returned from Dragonstone. Dragonstone? With the egg. Success. Mission accomplished. The rest of them are going to get themselves killed. You disobeyed me. Yeah. You are my only heir. For now. You could have been killed. May I sit? She's so confident in this episode, isn't she? You went to Dragonstone. And retrieved the egg without bloodshed. A feat I'm not sure Sir Otto could have accomplished alone. Not a chance. Yes. Well, I sometimes forget how alike you both were. She understands what is now expected of me. The king must take a new wife. Is he going to marry this 12 year old? If he marries Alison, I'm not sure she'll understand because she'll. She's a, a real attachment to her, you know? Made a decision? I have decided to take a new wife. Um, yeah, but. Yeah, but who? And why is Alison here in the room right now? I intend to marry. There she is. Uh oh. The Lady Alice and Hightower. <laughs> and Look at the way Otto's smiling. Oh, he's gonna storm out. This is an absurdity. Well, we've made some enemies today. Dare I say it, it was more friendly when Damon was on the small council, wasn't it? There was some comedy. Renera. She's heartbroken. How's Valarian's origins reach back to old Valeria? Well, who is he talking to? For centuries, my house had to scratch out an existence from the sea. He could go to Damon. Good luck. I've always thought of you and I as having been made from the same cloth. Mm-hmm. There he is. As expected. We've been passed over too often. You've heard of the troubles in the Stepsteps. Yeah, crap, crap, man. 
Gondor. And the King's failures have allowed him to accumulate strength. Waiting in the Stepstones is a chance for you to prove your worth to any who might yet doubt it. Hey Damon, you can't trust this guy by the way. Go, go help him, but you can't trust him. Someone who flips sides that uh, easily is not to be... You don't get into bed with someone like that, you know? Episode 2 of House of the Dragon. Much slower episode, much more calmly paced episode, with just one major moment when Hightower brings like ten guys to take Dragonstone. Did they not know that Damon has a dragon? What were they thinking? We're here to take it back and take the egg back, and you're to swear loyalty to your brother. And cut all this nonsense out and I've got these ten guys and the your honor to what was he thinking what was his plan what what did he have in his head how did he see it going down he knows Damon much more than we do we've known him for an episode and we knew that that shit was never gonna work so what was going through his head isn't he supposed to be like this calculating guy like he he got Alison he maneuvered her into the right position. But he could have just gotten completely destroyed on that little bridge. For what? For nothing. It doesn't make any sense to me. Now, granted, not Daenerys came on her dragon and solved the issue and saved the day. And I do love when her and Damon are talking. There's a different tinge to the it's a different electricity to the air around them when that happens whatever is going on in the story seems to fade away and they enter this sort of telepathic situation with each other she is not going to pull up with his shit and he is kind of amused and affectionate towards her you know he respects her he likes her and he was, she was like, you can kill me now. And he's like, he was never going to kill her. His beef is not with her. Sure, she's the heir, but hey, look, there could be more heirs coming, depending on how long the king lasts. And, uh, but yeah, I do like those two. So I'm glad we got that scene, but the, the it made no sense getting to it, getting to that point. You know, high tars bluster and a few guys. Hey, I did like Damon and Cole's interaction too. And we knew that he was going to be the one, even even though, you know, he wasn't named in the episode prior to it. When they were talking about replacing like one of the Kingsguard, I was like, I got your guy. I know the guy. I've seen him in episode one. <laughs> the perfect one. Not these guys who who apprehended a poacher with their fancy armors and their big names. I can't remember what how she described them, but there's a word for it, the way she described them. That sort of means kind of a certain fakeness to them. Never saw real battle. Um Yeah. We did see the Alison thing coming as well, and how it would affect Rhaenyra. Because she's old. When she thought he was marrying that 12-year-old, she was like, for the duty and the honor of the kingdom. And in the back of her head, she was probably thinking, well, look, he's not going to sleep with her for like two or three years, you know, minimum. And then, if at all, you know, so that's a problem for later. But with her friend, like... I don't know how old. I know Rhaenyra is supposed to be 15, so I presume her friend is supposed to be 15 too. And by friend, I mean true love. So she feels betrayed on... Like she... I don't know. She hasn't verbalized it. And they haven't verbalized the sort of connection those two have. But it's very complicated emotionally for her right now. And no egg is going to solve that. 
And then, I don't know his name, but the guy who went to Damon at the end. Uh, can't trust him. He was, he offered his daughter to wed the king. The king said no. And he's like, well, screw it then. I'm going to turn on the king and I'm going to team up with his estranged brother. The one that's like complete opposite end of everything we stand for. You know, I, I sort of get it, but you can't trust somebody like that. Because Damon, Damon has to be thinking, I do one thing wrong and this guy's just going to turn on me. And he's full of his own self-importance because of his, his family name. You know? From from his history. And then he's trying to relate to Damon. Oh, you and me. We're, we're alike. We worked. We had to work hard. We're forgotten. We're passed over. We're just the same. Help me with the crab guy. Or girl. Or woman. Or maybe it's just a giant crab. It's a giant crab. Help me with this giant crab. They hate fire. You've got a dragon. Problem solves itself. But yeah, they set all that up in episode one. I knew that something like that would be important eventually. But it's straight away. I like that neutral guy on the the council whose name I don't know yet. He, d he didn't really say much in the first episode. He was just also there. So it's good that the king went to him. He's the best person to go to. And he gave the best advice. The correct advice. To to stop the rot, to stop the chaos. You know? Houses, strong houses, combining. Sure, Hightower doesn't get his way, but so what? Hightower's not going to go off to Damon in a huff because of it. He's just going to continue playing his game in a different way. Maybe poison the girl. You know, if he was, if he was thinking evil, you know, he's thinking, well, I've got a few years before it that becomes a problem, and maybe we can do something about it. Gears turning. Well, I don't know, the king just went... What is he doing? Following his heart? Because of all those late-night chats he had with her? Anyway. Slow episode, character-building episode. Uh, and people are now have different alliances because of this episode. Next week's episode is called She's Where are we? Second of his name. Oh. Uh, okay. That could refer to a few people. That's next week. So yeah. Thank you for joining. I know I, I know the first episode was posted a bit late, but I'm catching up. This is the day the second episode is aired in, so hopefully this won't take too long to edit and then we'll be okay from here on out, hopefully. Uh, I still don't know where the show goes. I don't know what the... Like with Game of Thrones, we had this looming threat. Winter is coming. With this show, we've, we don't really have anything like that. We've just got to sort of... People don't like each other. Stay tuned. <laughs> you know? But as long as we build the characters, we start to root for them, then it'll be compelling to watch. And the, oh, the scenery is beautiful. The little places they go, walk through, that model is is cool. I wonder if they use any of it for the intro. I don't think so, but... You can imagine them building that and saying, oh, look, we're going to have our intro. We're going to film the intro. We need to build this giant model. And then they were like, well, we're not using much of it. Let's just put it in the show. Let's put it in the show itself. Won't that be cool? It is. It is cool. Right. Get out of here. I'll see you next week. Thanks for joining me.